Cubers, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. Enjoy the more daylight in June. We have here in front of you two very solid and fun offering from Germany. The HK416. Yes, the 416. They kill Osama Bin Laden, but this is the little brother, the 22 long rifle. Here you go. From HK, outsourced by Umarex. Yet still made in Germany. I put on a uh, inexpensive Barska with that. Works okay. Does the work for me? Uh, I have the bow open. What I love about this 41622 is that uh, uh, first of all, it's all metal. You see this? This is all metal. I handle a uh, MMP 15. 22 before and I, I, I hate to say this because Smith Wesson is a US company but I don't like it because it's just so uh, plasticky and uh, I mean sometimes you can do a good job with plastic but that gun is just too plasticky for me but this is different this is all metal. Uh, talking about a plastic example, this would be a good plastic example. This is the uh, I have the bow open too. Uh, GSG sixteen, also made in Germany. And this is 22 long rifle. Look at that. MP5 slat. I also put on a bars cut. I love this red dot. More than uh, this one. And it works out great. I'll show you the shooting footage and target later on at the end of the, of the video. See, this is a, uh, this is nice plastic, you know, and uh, for the AR type setup, because the original AR wasn't in, isn't in plastic anyway. So I feel like, okay, this is more appealing to me. And uh, the second thing about I, the offering I, I love is it's it's ring fire, okay? It's ring fire. So in a lot of Nassau free states, uh, the restrictions don't apply to ring fire. So you can really do whatever you want. And don't get me wrong. I mean, ring fire, this thing can shoot very fast, very accurately. And very cheaply. All right. Uh, fun factor is very very high, and uh, the acquisition cost is also low. Uh, I think you can get this maybe five hundred dollar and below right now. Uh, and this talking about a bargain. This is. $100 cheaper uh, than 416. Uh, granted, uh, it's more plastic, but it does the work. I love shooting this piece, uh, this uh, GSG-16. The trigger is very soft. Uh, the trigger for 416 is firmer, uh, but it's okay. I can still shoot it 
very fast. But overall, I like the trigger of this one better. Probably at least half pound lighter than, uh, than this one. And as you can see, I put a Picatinny rail to it. Uh, and for this offering, it comes out of the box with three rails. How about that? With all the screw needed. So you, you can put on all three side, you know. Uh, also got a different option for front side and the real side pick hole. But I put on red dot, so you know I'm not going to touch this. And right now this is very soft, very nice to hold. You know? So I have no intention to add on more stuff. Maybe later on I will change to the real MP5 offering with a built-in grip here. And do it here too, so make it more like MP5. Uh, but that's uh, like a later project. I'm in no hurry to do that. I enjoy this setting. This setup as it is. Twenty long rifle is a great cartridge. It is very lethal and accurate. I would say inside fifty yards, up to eighty yards. Um, and again, the cost of shooting it, uh, especially right now compared to center fire, it's uh, much much lower. So you can have more fun. And if you want to train, uh, this is also a good option. The one thing I don't like about 416 is that uh, the bolt release is fake. I know HK is trying to uh, lower the cost, but if you go as far as to make it all metal, right? I mean, make nice, very real 416 pistol grip, very real, you know, bus stock, very real, you know, front uh, handle and all that. And even the barrel, look at how nice this is. Why not make it a real thing for the bow release? So right now I have the magazine already not fully inserted. So I just want to let you guys hear you know, how real it is. You know? It's a very nice bolt and set up. And this magazine is very easy to load, effortless. It's not going to hurt your thumb or anything. And there is a, if you want to uh, keep the bow open, there's also a handle not a handle, there's a, a, a device inside that you can just push up. There you go. It's not easy to find, okay? This way, if you are in the range, you can hold the ball open. And to release it, I love this sound, love it. Comes with a uh, adjustable uh, rear side and front side, front side adjustable too. So you can shoot the iron side, but uh, just get a red dot guys, you know, 
that would multiply, multiply the fun factor many times and really take advantage of the green file uh, semi-auto that you can really shoot fast. Overall, this is just a nice looking AR type uh, 22 long rifle rifle. And this don't come out very often, you know, definitely more rare than uh, MMP 1522. So I would definitely recommend uh, getting this one. Let's look at the other side. And I'm going to put a, a sling to it. You can see it has the built-in sling here. And it comes with the, uh, the, the, the wrench. So you can uh, change the stock. It would be also fun to put a brace here. Make it even uh, better looking. But it's not cheap, probably $200 on uh, hkparts.net. Look at that. HK. Yeah, I just love HK in general. And this is uh, definitely increased the stabilization when you shoot the rifle. Guys, I love this one. If you can only get one out of the two, get this one, all right? I think you can uh, get it below $400. And uh, I don't know about this one, but uh, for this one, the barrel is uh, hammer forged. The one thing though that uh, I don't like about this is the uh, the magazine is uh, not easy to put on. And it makes sense because uh, the insert area is smaller. And you don't try to insert with this because your thumb is going to hit it. Hit the pedal release. Just put it on and uh, slam it with your bottom of the palm. You know. Time to demonstrate. Right, if you do that, because you want to insert it hard, so you know you, you, you will see how difficult it is. It's just not very easy to. There you go, and I will hit it, right. So just put it on and, uh, you know, slam it. Slam with the bottom of your palm. That's the way to go, especially for a 10-rounder. If you got a 30-rounder, yes, by no means. But if you've got a 10-rounder, you know, just slam it. And that's here, that famous uh, sl slam, B5 slam. Don't you love it? Let me put the ball out. So you can really hear the real thing. Huh? Look at that. That is so cool. Unfortunately, uh, this rifle is very difficult to get. Uh, 
it's not as easy to get them the Usually when they arrive in the store, they will fly out of the shelf. When I got it, they have the other one on the shelf. And uh, I saw tell, tell, tell my shooting group's friend and someone just came to grab it right away. This one, when I got it, there's still one there. And right now it's still there. So this is definitely ranked even higher on the fun factor and the collection value, collect collectability. I love everything about it, except the uh, magazine insert, but that's the design of the, the rifle. And uh, uh, if you are in a free state, you can get a longer, uh, normal, normal capacity magazine. So you can really slam it with full grip of the, pit, the magazine. All right. I don't want to drag on for too long, but uh, uh, as I want to show you some shooting footage, but overall, These are two great offerings from Germany. Highly recommended both. If you want to get one only, get this one. And that's the reason. This is the 416. This is about uh, 10 yards. And these are GSG 16. Look at how tight the group is. And this may be due to the red dots, you know. So I wouldn't say it's more accurate on the GSG 16 because they have different red dots set up. And when I'm when I was shooting 416, that day, uh, the red dot here is not a, so uh, spread out a little bit. It's not as concentrated as uh, this one. That's why I say this is a great uh, open sight. And I mean, both, you can shoot them with both eyes open uh, and still have that, uh, Accuracy. Again, you know, I, I do this at the indoor range, not very good lighting, so I don't want to push it out to 15 uh, or 20 yards. Maybe I'll do that when I uh, go to the outdoor range. Okay. Hopefully, uh, these will be some uh, fun options that is inexpensive to acquire and uh, inexpensive to maintain and uh, inexpensive to, uh, to shoot for you guys. Especially if you have uh, uh, shooters who are more sensitive to recoil and the, the loud bang. These are great. Okay, shoot safe and enjoy the shooting uh, video clip. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful June. HK416. You can adjust stuff here. Very nice. The ten round. Shoot ten shots.
It's so fun to shoot. I love it. Absolutely love it. GSG GSG 22 Look at that. The number is gone. The number, okay, the number seven is totally gone. How can you not love it? How can you not love it? MP safety, very nice. Grooved pistol grip. Absolutely love it. The trigger is very nice, very soft. Very soft trigger, I love it. <laughs> 